Hi friends, this week's recipe by popular request is for savory steamed rice cakes. Made of a very simple batter, this version of the cakes are topped with mung bean and toasted shrimp and then enjoyed with some additional condiments. This video is loaded with tips and tricks, so please stay until the end where I share some non-traditional tools for making these cakes. We need the following ingredients, rice flour, tapioca starch, corn starch, salt, cold water, boiling water, shrimp, vegetable oil, ground white pepper, mashed mung bean, hot water, green onions, and vegetable oil. We start by making the batter first as it needs some time to rest. So in a measuring cup, let's add the rice flour, tapioca starch, corn starch, and salt. Let's add the cold water and whisk together until all the ingredients are thoroughly combined and the batter is free of lumps. Now let's add the boiling water. And again, we mix it together, combining it thoroughly. We let the batter rest on the counter for two hours. To make the toasted shrimp topping, we heat a skillet over medium low heat and then add the shrimp. Add just a splash of water, about one tablespoon, and then cover the skillet. After a minute and a half, flip the shrimp over and cook for another minute and a half for a total of three minutes. Next, we transfer just the cooked shrimp into the food processor and we leave any liquid behind. We pulse the shrimp for about 30 seconds. And we should have shrimp that's nicely chopped like this. Let's heat the same skillet over medium heat and add vegetable oil. Let's add in the chopped shrimp. We cook the shrimp for three minutes, stirring frequently. After three minutes, use a spatula to press the shrimp against the skillet. This helps to dry it out further and to fluff it up a bit. We repeat this process while cooking for another four to five minutes until the shrimp is nicely toasted. Finally, let's sprinkle in some ground white pepper. Let's set this aside for now and we can go on to make the next topping. To the mashed mung bean, let's add some ground white pepper and some salt. We add just a little bit of water and then mix everything together. The consistency of the mung bean should resemble a soft paste. To make the scallion oil, let's give the green onions a quick chop and we combine them with a little bit of vegetable oil, pepper, and salt. When we are ready to serve the steamed rice cakes, we cook the scallion oil in the microwave for 30 seconds. The batter has been resting for two hours and we can see that it has separated with the flour settling on the bottom and the liquid on the top. Without disturbing the flour, we carefully pour out the liquid into a separate measuring cup. Now we check to see how much liquid we poured out and then we add back water in the same amount. So in this step, we poured out one cup of liquid and then added back one cup of water to the batter. To make the batter easy to dispense, we're gonna use one of these sports water bottles. The water bottle should have a push top and be squeezable. Now let's fill the bottle with the batter and then seal it with a cap. We will start by making the steamed rice cakes the traditional way using these little bowls. Ideally, we should have about two dozen of these so that we can make continuous batches. Alternatively, we can use these small bowls which are often used for sauces. To prepare the steamer, we fill the basin three quarters of the way with water. We bring the water to a rapid boil and then reduce the heat to medium high. Place the empty bowls inside the tray and then set it on top of the steamer. We heat up the bowls by steaming for two minutes. Let's shake the bottle gently to mix up the batter. This is one of the reasons having it in a water bottle makes it super easy. Now we oil each of the dishes with a little bit of vegetable oil. We can also use nonstick cooking spray to quickly coat the bowls. We add one tablespoon of batter into each of the dishes. Once we get good with the measurements, we can just eyeball it. To keep my arm from being scalded by the steam, I slip on my dishwashing glove. We steam for approximately four minutes. After the cakes are done, we remove the entire steamer tray and then start the next batch. For this next batch, we're using a mini muffin pan. Again, we heat up the pan by steaming it for two minutes. Let's remove the first batch from the steamer tray and we set it aside and allow it to cool for at least 15 minutes. Before each batch, we need to give the batter a quick shake. For the mini muffin pan, we use half a tablespoon of batter. We steam the cakes for three minutes. For the next batch, we use this specialty pan. The pans are relatively inexpensive, and if we have two or three, we can make lots of cakes quickly. Each of the wells holds about half a tablespoon of batter, and we steam for three minutes. We are ready to assemble this dish. Run a spatula or thin knife around the rice cake and it should slide right out. Just a quick note, it's much easier to remove these cakes once they've cooled. 
Next, we add the scallion oil. The oil gives the cakes a nice sheen and keeps them moist if we're not serving them right away. Let's add a small dollop of the mung bean topping to each of the cakes. And then we sprinkle on some of the toasted shrimp. We serve these savory steamed rice cakes with the essential fish sauce dipping sauce and optionally carrot and radish pickles. In this part of the video, I'll share some inexpensive alternatives to the traditional dishes that are used to make these cakes. Option number one are these disposable foil muffin pans. They are sold in a three pack. If we purchase two packs, we can make continuous batches. The pans are inexpensive and reusable. The next option and my favorite are these foil cupcake liners. Again, very inexpensive. They're meant for one-time use only. There are three things I really like about using these cupcake liners. One, they don't require any preheating. Two, they're already nonstick, so we don't need to use any oil. And three, they make the cake super easy to remove. We just peel back the foil and it pops right out. If making all these individual rice cakes is too time consuming, here's what we can do. For option number three, we make one large cake using a dessert plate. For this option, we use half a cup of batter and we steam for six minutes. It's just as delicious with a lot less work. If you enjoyed this video and the tips and tricks I shared, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks. Hi, I hope you've enjoyed this easy how-to video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post below. For full recipes, check out runawayrice.com. I work on new recipes each week, so please subscribe to my channel to stay tuned. This is Trang wishing you good eating and good health. Thanks for watching.